What do you think about corned beef and cabbage? Totally? Okay. We'll talk about it. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Actually a couple days before St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> so, if you remember babe, last year on St. Patrick's Day, we made corned beef and cabbage in the Ninja Foodie, but we used the pressure cooker feature. Right. This year, we're gonna be using the Ninja Foodie again, but we are going to be using the slow cook feature, which is basically like a crock pot. We're gonna do like nine hours. And we're gonna show you a couple little tricks like using chicken broth with it. It's really gonna come out really, really tender and really, really amazing. Delicious. Who doesn't love corned beef and cabbage? Oh yeah, okay, it's so a lot good. Of people don't, so but I love it. It's really good. I yeah. only eat it like once a year. Once a year. So we are going to take you step by step and throughout the nine hours, you're gonna kind of vary your ingredients so that the potatoes don't get mushy, so that the cabbage doesn't get all wilty. Mm -hmm. So We'll start by just hitting the ingredients, getting everything in the Ninja Foodie, and we'll go from there. I'm excited. All right, babe, are you ready? I'm ready. And here we, we go. go. Okay, we have our Ninja Foodie, and here are the ingredients. We are going to do our corned beef brisket. It comes with the seasoning pack, but we're gonna level it up, obviously, with our onions and our garlic and our chicken broth. We have our carrots, our red baby potatoes, and our head of cabbage which will all go in in increments, starting with the corned beef, the onions, and the garlic, and throughout the day we'll add the rest of the ingredients. Okay, so we're gonna start by putting our onions on the bottom. I sliced them up kind of thin, just one whole onion. Okay, on top of the onion goes our corned beef, and this one is three pounds. And then the spice packet that comes with it. And the amount of chicken broth is just gonna be to cover the top of it. So there's no specific amount because it's all depending on how big it is. You just wanna make it to the top. So that was about two cups right there. That's so we're cups. probably gonna need another cup or two and then the chicken broth will just be to the top of it. And the chicken broth is really the level up in the game because yeah. It's way better than just using water. Right. There you go. So that's four cups total. Yes. And then we're going to throw in our garlic. And we're going to set it and forget it. It looks good. So we're going to start. You're going to lower the lid and turn it on. I love this thing. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. We're going to go to crock pot. I think it's under slow cook slow on there. Slow cook, yep. We're going to set it for nine hours on low. And then after four hours, we're going to put in our potatoes. All right, see you guys back in four hours. Okay, Babo, it's been four hours. Yes, it's smelling very yummy. Looking like a dead animal. <laughs> it smells amazing though. It smells good though. Okay, so our next step, it's been four hours. Our next step is to put our potatoes in. I cut up nine red potatoes. Okay, so we're just gonna dump these in and kind of push them around and let those cook. We're gonna wait three more hours and after three hours, we'll then add the cabbage and the carrots for the last two hours and then we'll be done. Nine hour cook time total. I'm excited. Well, I think it's gonna be good, babe. It'll be great. All right, okay. we'll see you back in another three hours. Oh, hi babe. Hi babe. It's been seven hours. Yeah. Oh, how does it look? It's looking good, we're getting there. Oh, oh. We're not getting there because the camera just fogged up. Hey. Hi, welcome back. We have two hours left. It's time to put our cabbage, which is one of my favorite parts. Oh, babe, I love corned beef. Yeah. I love the potatoes. Yeah. I cannot back you on the cabbage. It's so good for you, though. Is it, though? Yes. I feel like cabbage is just dirt and water. It gives you gas. I guess it's not good for you. <laughs> It gives you gas. Not good for you. So that's what I have to look for. I don't get it. That's what I have to look forward to tonight? Yeah, then you can see what I go through daily. <laughs> daily with your gas masks. Two hours left. I might bump this up to high. For two hours? Maybe. You think so? I think I want Or maybe to. just the last hour. I don't know. 
don't know, it's not feeling as soft as I would like it to feel right now, but... After seven hours, yeah. Yeah. So maybe we'll bump it up to high for an hour and see if that's helping. Okay. And then bump it back down, but we'll see. We'll play with it. All right. Okay. But it's going to be a nine-hour cook, probably. Nine or ten, yeah. Yeah. Okay, babe. We'll check back when the final portrait picture now is available. It's been nine and a half hours, and this is, like, legit deliciousness. Okay? I pulled it out. I made a plate. Yeah, babe. Show us the plate. Here's our plate. Oh, 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 boy. Carrots, potatoes, cabbage, and... Goodness. Yeah. So, babe, let's put a little mustard on this and try a bite and see what you think. Babe, I'm curious. Before we roll the top tier channel members... Yeah. Last St. Patrick's Day, we did it with the pressure cooker and the Ninja Foodie. Yes. This year, we did it like old school, crock pot, nine and a half hours. What is your preference? The pressure cooker is pretty easy. If you do a pressure cooker, it's done in a few hours and guaranteed a crock pot can take a little bit longer. Yeah. So no, I, totally. Yeah, I kind of feel right. like I do enjoy the pressure cooker. It's just scary. Yeah. It, your plate is looking. Yeah, I know. It's going to be so good. Oh, that carrot. Look at that. No, don't eat it yet. We've got to do the final taste test, babe. Mm -hmm. All right. Hold on. I got to show I got to show the folks, babe. Oh, uh, Again, um, another, and the lighting's terrible. Another video. Okay. Let me show the folks. What do you guys think? Um, oh, come on. Like a mustard, like a this, a that, with a potato and the corned beef. It's all shreddy mm -hmm. and like super tender. And it's very good. Very, very, very yummy. Where's the cabbage? Did it shred? Cabbage is gross. I feel like the cabbage shredded to nothing. Mmm. That is so good. Mmm. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. I'm not a big fan of the cabbage and the carrots. The meat, potatoes, and mustard are great.